What's going on guys? So how can you build muscle, you know, continue building muscle if you got an injury? You know, recently my dumb ass re-injured my shoulder. It hurts a lot. Ow. Oh yeah. And now I'm going back down. I'm going back down and everything. Going from 210 on the bench, you know, my average uh, sets, and I'm going back to 135. Just the fact that anything heavier, I feel my shoulder. When I go 135, I'm able to focus on my form and keep my shoulder completely out of movement. You know, this shoulder's been injured, you know, back in high school when you, know, you have gym class and you try to show off on your buddies and shit doesn't go the way you want it to go. And you have to pay for it later on and it sucks. And that's what I'm doing now. But you can still build muscle because this is something I go through, you know, every single couple months, every year usually. And if you notice, like, People that have been lifting for a long, long time, you notice they do the same thing. You know, you don't always see them, you know, benching 405, you know. You know, you don't see them, uh, you know, I'm not talking about bodybuilders, but you don't even buy big bodybuilders. You don't see them benching 405 all the time. You don't see them usually benching the same weight and sometimes even less. Just the fact that when you go back, you know, like you lower down the weight, you get a nice fresh restart, and you go always, always, you know, focus more on, good form, better form, contracting the muscle, better really squeezing, making them work out more intense and just work your way back up, rehabilitate your injury, like if it's a shoulder, rehabilitate it, slowly, same thing goes with your knees, you know, if you have a knee injury, go light, rehabilitate it, rehabilitate it slowly, work your way back up, and hopefully you don't re-injure it, you know, if you can stay lifting heavy, of course, that's always a good thing, you know, keep lifting heavy, slowly progressing up and up, you know, the, the goal is to stay injury free, right? You guys remember back in 2012 when my ass was eagle lifting? I was a true fucking sport. True eagle lifting, right? I was driving, you know, 110 for uh, seated dumbbell presses. Seated dumbbell press and I, I lifted the bitches, you know, with some help. It wasn't good, you know, good form. I got a couple reps in there. You know, not, not really great, but that's just eagle lifting. You know, that's, that's two girls right there, guys. I could put a girl in one hand and a girl in another hand. And I could fucking bench them. I could bench press them. Well, shoulder press them, which is hard. That's pretty impressive, right? That's eagle lifting. Yeah, I stopped doing that shit. It's better, you know, I, something I learned is better to back off. Especially since I have an injury. You know, if you could do it, you're free, injury free, go right ahead. But for those of you that have injuries, you know, it's better to try to manage a way that you can handle and just rehabilitate your shoulder and work your way up slowly so that's what I, i'm doing you know i was doing 70 a, a week before i injured my shoulder now i'm doing 60s trying to just keep the tension out of my joints out of my bad shoulder and build muscle that way because you know i could always focus on you know squeezing the muscle more making it more slower i could always make it more intense with lighter weight and then just rehabilitate my shoulder and slowly work uh, work my way up but if I continue to be stupid and then just, you know, keep lifting heavy weight and, you know, fuck my shoulder, it'll be all right. You know, keep adding more weight and keep progressing. It's going to come to a point where I'm just going to injure my shoulder and point of return and then I'm going to probably end up needing surgery. And that's just going to take me out of the, you know, out of the gym for months, no gains. And it's going to suck. It's going to suck for me. It's going to suck for, for everybody. Yeah, so it's, no, don't do that. You know, take care of your body. Take care of your injuries. Be careful, always go back, you know, fix things, fix the form, rehabilitate your muscles, and work your way up slowly. It's the be uh, I, this is the best way to do it, guys. Just the fact that, you know, I notice is my shoulder's not even hurting like a lot, a lot, but it's, it's the point where I could just slightly injure it, you know, it's, 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 I'm very uncomfortable, so I'm being smart about it from, you know, from my past experience and just stepping, stepping backwards and moving forward, you know, slowly, rehabilitating it slowly, getting and getting my strength back and my confidence. And that's how you do it, guys. That's how you keep building muscle with injury. For those of you that don't have an injury, you're lucky as hell. You're lucky. Keep lifting heavy and leave me behind, assholes. Anyways, guys, if you need a meal plan, you need, you know, a weight training routine, you need some help, you need a coach, email me, help you guys out. Just email me right there and I'm going to go to my website there and then subscribe for more videos and stuff. Talk to you later, man.